Snow days and delays have definitely taken on a new meaning in the time of coronavirus. But tonight, there's a brand new push from Republican lawmakers to get our state schools back to normal. It's part of several new developments in education. W News 2's Ben Smart brings you up to speed. This passionate crowd is calling for North Carolina schools to reopen now. Over the weekend, they gathered in Raleigh in front of the governor's executive mansion. Currently, each individual school district decides whether to hold class in person, virtually, or both. But this coming week, Republican lawmakers will unveil a new bill requiring all North Carolina schools to offer in-person learning, with online school still an option. Representative John Hardister says he supports the idea. The virus is not going away anytime soon. Schools cannot remain closed in, in perpetuity. It's not a, a tenable situation for education, it's not good for academics, and it's not good for social development. These lawmakers point to new scientific research, a joint UNC Duke University study published in the Pediatrics Medical Journal found COVID-19 transmission was much lower among 11 North Carolina school districts compared to community spread during the 2020-2021 school year. The North Carolina Association of Educators responded to the bill's announcement, saying in part, quote, in many schools, it is physically impossible to adhere to the necessary social distancing, masking and hygiene requirements. We think the decision to return to in-person instruction should be left to local boards of education. As for private schools, they're a whole different story. We have been in school, in person, full time since August. Allison Parker's two kids are in kindergarten and eighth grade at Burlington Christian Academy. They're limiting, you know, people that are not teachers inside the buildings. Our children have to wear masks all the time. She says they were virtual during spring 2020, but went back in person in the fall and have been that way ever since. And I think this virus is here to stay. Like, I think this is a new way of life for us. Teenagers and kids in general, they need the interaction with, with other kids and their teachers. And what about the COVID vaccine? Teachers are part of group three. North Carolina is not currently offering the vaccine to them unless they're older than 65.